Bitcoin is not new, um, it's been operating for some time, the founders are not known. Um, it is an open source software, it uses peer-to-peer -peer technology to operate with no central bank or banks managing transactions and the issuing of Bitcoin is carried out collectively by a network. So in itself, um, uh, it, it's a network of payment system. Um, it's novel, as you said it. So we invited the Bank of Ghana to uh, the conference because we admit that there is some level of less knowledge about and the concept of Bitcoin and how it works as an alternative payment system. Um, what we're doing is that the world is hit with economic and global, global crisis, um, COVID-19, Russia and Ukraine war that we've been told about all the time. But providing Bitcoin um, as a medium of payment cushions entrepreneurs especially against high inflations and unstable currency regime as we are facing in Ghana. So um, I think this is a time to push forward. The conference is where the conversation begins. Okay, the engagement, the public engagement, then it goes on through policy and enactment of law. So let's see it as the green light. Okay, the start of the conversation. I agree with you, there should be a regulatory backing. So at the conference, we'll start a conversation. In Kenya, in South Africa, and there are a lot of young people are leading this revolution, and we see it coming. Um, another reason is that I think young people generally and business community don't like bureaucracies and um, um, very long chain in transacting businesses do want the process very seamless. Um, as I also said, it's a very fast peer-to-peer -peer transaction system. It's, it's, in, it's in itself a worldwide payment system and also it's also a low, it has a low processing fee. So I think it's just beginning. There are a lot of Bitcoiners in Ghana. Uh, we recommend um, everybody to speak to the community to probably also throw in some of um, your resources in Bitcoin, use Bitcoin to do your businesses. It's seamless because we are in a global world and there are businesses that have been done in different parts of the world. And you know, you and I know that transaction fee is becoming a major roadblock blockade to transacting businesses. There is the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, there is a pass as well. So Bitcoin is just another level of providing that seamless transaction or payment of services and goods across the country. And that is what um, the Bank of Ghana regulators should support and promote.